today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cruelty free YouTube er YouTuber <laughs> that does a lot of makeup content and I am filled with cat hair. I don't know if you can see it, but I wear black and I have two long haired white cats. Not a good combo. But today I'm doing a first impression of a palette that I have been so excited about this palette. And I have had it for a couple of weeks, but I haven't used it yet, so today is the day. And it is the Meet Me in the Underground from Loose Cosmetics. This palette, when like I first saw it and saw videos on it, I was like, I need that in my life. So it is a 16 pan palette that is bit grungy and it's green and it's red and it's just looks so so good so this is a completely new brand for me this palette is a vegan and brand is cruelty free of course and it's based in the UK so I'm going to do a look with this I still though haven't decided if I want to do a thing that I love to take green and gold or if I want to take like red and green but if I do green and gold I can do really dark red look to it and I love to do that but I can also do that if I do okay, this is so hard we'll see I will prime my eyes and then we get started so I actually think that I want to do a reddish look with green shimmer I know that that is maybe not the best combo of my eyes, but when it's shimmer and matte you mix, it usually goes good. Because this green shimmer, the Enchanted, it looked really really nice. And then, I don't think I would use Snake Bite, but the other ones here and might the black one as well. To get some depth, depth, depth to the look. Do it a little bit deeper. And yeah, we're going to try this. And see how it will go. So for my crease, because, oops, I swatched these four and they didn't seem as dark as in the pan and I think maybe this footsteps is going to be good to have in my crease. I will try that and maybe deepen it down with Melody and then going with Tragic Love and Underworld on the outer corner and then take Enchanted on on the inner part of the lid so I will start with footsteps and this one and then take this one I think we'll see how this looks I don't know if you can hear Ines is snoring she's lying there sleeping and dreaming and snoring a little bit okay so this brand I haven't heard about it before this palette came out and I think it was Annette that did a video on it and I was like what kind of sorcery is this and then <laughs> it felt like the whole beauty community that I am kind of part of was like completely blown away by this palette and I like in person it looks great okay the first I can say with this one I like the shade but I don't think it is that pigmented that I thought it was going to be I've gone in quite a few times with it but at the same time when I first look at this palette I was like okay what am I going to use in my crease so that is like a good thing that they aren't super pigmented so you have to build it up but it lays really nice and it also it isn't patchy and it's really easy to build it up so it's not a complaint and jesus christ she's like i don't know if you have cats do they sometimes they can sleep like really deep, but it looks like they are broken. Like I don't know how a cat can bend like that. 
okay so the first shade is down and even though it wasn't super pigmented from the start i have to build it up i really like how it looks i think it's a good crease shade for me i don't know why i say that because i can use i'm not that like i have to have a really light shade as a crease shade so i take back everything i just said I'm going to go in with Melody then, this one, and see if I can deepen this down a little bit. Maybe just out here. Okay, this worked really good as well. So that is good that they are buildable and they are mixable. <laughs> Maybe this is building as well. I don't know, but they can go on top of each other without looking cray cray. And it has been so hard with this palette. Usually when I ordering a palette, I like don't want to see people use it because I want to form my own opinion about it. So I think I've only seen a net video on this one. So I'm going to look on some of my other friends that also have this palette. Now when I have used it, because like I don't want to know their opinion. So far, really good. My next step is a tragic love of this one and I will take it, I think, pretty far in. Okay, maybe not. I will just see how it looks, so I start with it out here and we will see like how intense and dark this is. Not that super dark. But kinda dark. Okay, is this going to work with the green shimmer? I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's just stood up and just lay on the other side. I like this shade as well. It was really easy to just pack it on and I don't have much fallout at all. And if you have ever seen me do a look before, fallouts is like a thing I do because I don't do my base before I do my eyes so I usually like just slap on the color and don't give a shit and I do it today as well but like no fallouts and I guess that these shades are kind of hard pressed and maybe I don't know maybe that's why I also don't feel like they are I usually use indie brands and I often use small indie brands and I feel like they are often really really pigmented and like you have to be a little bit more careful I don't think this is that super pigmented there's nothing wrong with it but I hope you understand what I mean and I think that is a good thing because some indie brands they are really hard for like a beginner to use because they are so pigmented but this is a little bit more buildable and I would say easier to work with. So I will go in with the green shimmer now and I will take this Enchanted, this one. I think that Orpheus would look really cool as well, the gold one. But you know what? I don't want to use gold today. I want to use green. Okay, now we'll see. I'm taking this just on a normal brush without cutting my crease. And just put it on the eyeshadow base that I have. And we'll see. It's kind of opaque. But I think this is a shimmer that is better if I... I think I like this combo. And it lays a little bit over this red one. I just go in. I dropped the brush. 
it's over there. I just take another one. Oh, just go in with the other shade that I have on my lid. Just a little bit and blend it together with the green. Do I think I love this combo more than I would have done if I taken green mattes and then a gold in here? Probably yes, because that is one of my favorite combos, but do I like this combo? Yes, I do. Okay, this green f did fell out. fell out. I got a little bit more fallout of the green shimmer than I did get from the mattes. But I really did pack this on a little bit more, so... I just want to try the black shade. Just to... I've tried it and my back. I'm sitting like a bag of potatoes. <sighs> so I'm going to take the black one, Underworld, and I'm just going to deepen down out here. Is it black? I think it's black. We'll see. Tap it off and then I'm just putting it out here. Oh, oh no. Oh no, oh no, 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 it was really pigmented. It was really fuck. Oh, it wasn't so good. <laughs> Poop. This was a really pigmented black, so now you know. If you are having this palette at home and you haven't used it, go easy on the black. Yeah, I still think it looks good, but it was not what I wanted. I didn't expect this black to be so black. Maybe you should try the black first. The worst thing is like, now I have to do the same thing on this. Okay, but good to know. The black is uh, really black. Really pigmented and black. Yeah, I, I am able to like blend it out, but it was not my intention to have it this dark. I just wanted a little deeper out here. Yeah. I have a lot of fallouts, a lot of black on my eyelid that I really didn't want to be that much. I have to go like this. So I will fix my base and my under eyes. I'm actually thinking of doing my under eyes off cam. I will just go in with... I will see what I will go in with. So I do my base and my under eyes. And then I maybe should come back with like the complete look. Should I try that for once? Because I always do my under eyes but like I don't know why I do it on cam. Because that is not something hard to do. So I will fix the rest of the look and then I come back. The finished look and for my lower lash I did go in with mellowed this one and the black underworld and then I took enchanted in my inner corners and on my lips I took Nabla unspoken. I know I love this. So what do I think about this look? I really like it. I think it looks good. It's though a little bit more black than I wished it would be but it was so more much more much it was so much more pigmented than I thought it was going to be so I can live with that but it wasn't my intention from the beginning but other than that I like the shimmer I used and this one I think it worked great I think it would look amazing like on glitch primer but it worked on my regular eyeshadow prime as well. The only thing I have with the mattes, uh, with these three I tried, they are not super pigmented so I had to build them up but I don't think it's a problem. The color is still there. It worked so good to build it up. It just was like maybe not that pigmented that I'm used to when it comes to in the brands. I don't know how the other mattes are, I don't know how the greens are, but like the black, it was super black. 
So maybe it's just these that aren't that pigmented. I don't know how the others are, but I'm going to use this palette more. I think it is a really fun color star. I think it's unique and I like it. I have nothing to complain about. It's not, as I said, the normal intensity that I get from other in the brands that I try, but nothing wrong and like the black was super black so maybe the greens are really pigmented i don't know but so far i like it and i'm looking forward to use it more see i don't think it's anything more i want to say about the palette my first impression it's good and what i think like now after my first impression if you want to try in the brands but you aren't that used to work with super pigmented shade i think this could be an option because it wasn't super like intense and hard to work with like for instance melt and minori some of their mattes are super super intense from the beginning and if you're not used to it it can be a little bit hard so i think that is good with this one I actually don't care if I have to build the shadow up as long as it's easy to build it up and it was. So that is my first impression with the Meet Me in the Ground. Uh, Meet Me in the Underground from Lewis Cosmetics. This was all for this video. I really hope you liked it and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!